When using the application director plugin for Jenkins, it is very easy to configure your Jenkins build jobs to trigger the reprovisioning of an application blueprint or the update of an existing deployment through your Jenkins build jobs. I'm going to show you how to integrate your specific jobs with application director using the plugin and then I'll show you how easy it is to install and configure the application director plugin with your instance of Jenkins. So here we have a, a Spring Travel Jenkins job. If you look at the configuration page for this Jenkins build job, you'll see that I have an application director client option. When selecting this option, I then have the ability to choose the reprovisioning of an existing blueprint or the update of an existing deployment. The first thing I will show you is how to trigger the teardown and then the redeployment of an existing application that is being managed by application director. When I select the provisioning option, I am presented with a list of application blueprints which are in application director. So I will choose the spring travel application. Now based on which application I choose, I'm presented with a list of deployment profiles for that application blueprint. And in this case, I'm going to choose the continuous provisioning application deployment profile. Now I simply click save. And if this job was scheduled to run on a daily basis, or it could be triggered based on the build, the commit of new source code into a source control management system, then this would happen automatically. But in this case, I'm going to click build now to demonstrate how this integration works. So while this build is actually running, I'm going to go into application director and show you that indeed the spring travel application or blueprint has two deployment profiles, dev and continuous provisioning. And we did choose continuous provisioning. So now let's go back into Jenkins and look at the console output for this job. And you can see here we have some information that a deployment teardown was scheduled successfully and the deployment was scheduled successfully. So let's look at the deployment page within application director. Here you can see there is a spring travel application with a teardown in progress and there is a spring travel application with a deployment in progress. This was triggered from that Jenkins build job. Now I will show you how to configure your Jenkins build job to update an existing deployment utilizing application director. You can see here that the spring travel application is deployed through application director. I will now go, now go back into my Jenkins spring travel build job and back into config, the configuration screen. Now this time, instead of selecting the provision option, I will choose the update option. I'm presented with a list of deployments which are currently in application director. And I will we'll select the spring travel continuous provisioning deployment. Based on which deployment I select, I'll be presented with a list of components. These are the components which make up my application blueprint. In this case, I'm going to choose the Spring Travel app, which is the WAR file which has been deployed through this application blueprint, the Spring Travel application blueprint. And I will then choose which property to update, which is part of that component. And in this case, there's only one property, and that's the WAR file. Now, in this value field, I will enter the location of the application artifact, which I want to use to update this deployment with. Now, typically, you will use your Jenkins build job to build your code based on committing source code to a source control management system and Jenkins pulling that source control management system. Or it could be on a schedule. But ultimately, you will build that code and upload your application artifacts to an artifact server. In this case, I'm going to enter in a location where I know the WAR file is living for this spring travel 
application. I will then click Save. Now again, this ideally would be triggered based on committing code to your source control management system, especially when you're looking to achieve continuous integration, delivery, or deployment. But in this case, I'm going to click Build Now. Now if I go in and view the console output while this job is running, you will see I'm presented with some information about the ID of the existing deployment, and that's really useful for debugging purposes. You see the WAR file which was used, and ultimately this job finished successfully, and the deployment update was scheduled successfully. So let's go back into Application Director, and let's go into this specific deployment. You can see here there's an update in progress, which was triggered by Jenkins. And now I will show you how to install and configure the vFabric Application Director plugin for Jenkins. Now you can use your existing inst instance of Jenkins, but for this demonstration I'm using a fresh instance of Jenkins. Simply click the Manage Jenkins link and choose Manage Plugins. Now this page lets you see a list of all the different updates for existing plugins you have installed, what plugins are available, and which ones are already installed within your instance of Jenkins. So you can see here there is no application director plugin already installed. Simply click the available tab to see a list of available plugins. Now you could scroll down and find the vFabric application director plugin, or simply type vFabric in the filter box. Now you see here the vFabric Application Director plugin. If you need more information about this plugin before you install it, simply follow this link to the plugin wiki page, which lists the different features that this plugin supports, what are some known issues, and what are some of the best practices when integrating a Jenkins job with Application Director through this plugin. If you find any issues with the plugin, you can also open those issues through this wiki page. Now to install the plugin, simply select the install checkbox next to the plugin. And you can either install with a restart or without a restart. And I'm going to choose installing without a restart. Now it'll take a moment for this plugin to actually download and install, but you can see it's a pretty quick process as it has already successfully installed. Now if you go back to the manage plugins page, and look at the list of installed plugins, you can see the vFabric Application Director plugin is now installed. To configure this plugin, simply click on the Manage Jenkins link and go to Configure System. Because the plugin is installed, you're now presented with an Application Director Post Build Plugin section of the Global Configuration page. This will list the information that all your different Jenkins jobs will use when integrating with Application Director. The first field we will fill out is your URI base. This is the base of your existing instance of Application Director. And it is used by the Application Director plugin to call the REST API. So I'm going to cut and paste the URL from my instance of Application Director and include that here in the URI base. Now I need to enter the username of any user with an application director which has role deployer privileges. Now to demonstrate the validate connection functionality first I'm going to enter in an invalid username and password and click the validate connection button. And you can see here there was an error during validation. That informs me that I need to correct some of my information to continue. And this is important because all your different jobs will be using this information. So if you make changes to this page and they are incorrect, you could potentially have many jobs which would fail. Now I'll enter in correct information. And I will click the validate connection button. And you see here now 
that it has validated successfully. I simply now only need to save this page and I can configure any jobs that I would like to use the application director plugin as you have previously seen. So I have shown you how you can easily configure a Jenkins build job to reprovision an application blueprint through application director. You can use the plugin to deploy application artifacts through application director and essentially utilize the release management functionality of application director. And I just showed you now how easy it is to install the plugin into your existing instance of Jenkins and configure that plugin to work with your instance of application director.